Okay, I want to review Brush Ninja with you guys. So I'm starting off with an animation that I've already created. This is just a simple animation of a dolphin turning in circles. As you can see, the way you create an animation is you have to have several pictures of the same slide and an object moving in each slide. So I'll hit play so you can see the animation. Here you go. And I've already saved this, so I will start over to show you how you can make a new one. With a blank screen, the basic first step is to make a background, and I'm just going to do a color for right now. I'll show you how to make a fancy background later. So I have a blue background and I like to go up here to shapes to start off with and look and see what shapes I have. And I think I'll choose a car for example. And before I start drawing the shape, I want to make sure my pencil and bucket are the right color. The bucket is no color right now, and I want that to be red. Oh, I'll have to click on it. I want that to be red, and I want the pencil to be blank. All right, now I'll go ahead and draw that car, and that's my first slide. I'm just going to do a very basic animation to show you guys to begin with. So now I'm going to make a copy and I just did that by make by clicking that button. You don't want to click add. I'll click I'll click it now just to show you cuz then it starts over with a blank screen. And you can't make an animation unless you make a copy. So you always want to make a copy. And then I want to move the car. So to move an object, you have to click the arrow tool, which is the select tool. Click on it and move it a little bit. Then we make another copy and I click and move it again. Another copy, I click and move it again. All right, so moving the car all the way off and now we have a simple animation of a car moving. Now a lot of times I get asked how you can erase something if you make a mistake, say I draw this line and I don't like it, I just go to the select tool. I select even if it's a shape or a line, whatever it is, and then I hit backspace and or you can click on delete to get rid of it. So that is your basic animation. Let's stop. Now let me show you a few other things. When you're using the pencil or the paintbrush tool, you have all these different options up here. I'm going to stay on pencil and the paint bucket needs to be blank now. And I'm going to draw a person, a really not so great stick figure. There we go. Person. Okay. Now, I'm going to make a copy and now I want to make this person move. So I go to the select tool and oh no, that only moved one line. So to move the whole person at the same time, what you do, you take the select tool and you click and drag a box over everything that you want to be together. And then you come over here to the left and click on group. And now it's grouped together, and now I can move them. Make another copy, click, and move them again. So here's my simple animation. This is just to get you guys started. There's many more things that you can do. You can see up here you have a text box. You can add words. Um, you can add different lines. But I'm going to let you guys explore today and figure out um, and experiment what you can do on your own.